हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल दैट इज वी आर इन टेक्नो पॉइंट राइट सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द नॉन प्रियमटिव वर्जन ऑफ प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम राइट सो द प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम वी वुड डिस्कस बट द लाइक नॉन प्रियमटिव वर्जन राइट बिकॉज इन द प्रियमटिव वर्जन ऑब्वियसली द कंटेक्ट स्विचिंग वुड बी डन सो दैट वुड बी क्वाइट कॉम्प्लीकेटेड इन कंपेरिजन टू नॉन प्रियमटिव so in today's class i'll tell you about the non preemptive version of priority scheduling algorithm right so what is given in the question you just check it in the question process numbers are given right the process numbers p1 to p7 are given already and after that the arrival time is given the burst time is given and the main thing is priority okay because like whenever we would solve the priority scheduling algorithm then we need the priority for each and every process right so one more queue would be added in this algorithm that is the priority queue okay and there is one more thing which would be given in the question that who is having the highest priority whether the higher number is having the highest priority whether or like or you could say like the lower number is having the highest priority okay so in case of this question the lower number is having the highest priority okay so based on that we have to calculate the completion time the turn around time waiting time and the response time right these four things you have to calculate based on the non preemptive version of priority scheduling algorithm right so what do you do first of all you just check the arrival time like who is arriving first right out of these seven processes like there is one process who is arriving first so just check it who is the one so process number p1 okay process number p1 is arriving first from 0 till what is the burst time of it that is 8 okay now what we have to do we have to prepare the ready queue okay why so because between 0 to 8 we have to check is there any new process who has been arrived yes between the 0 to 8 we are having like 1 2 3 4 5 processes okay so we put right process number p2 because this is waiting in the ready queue process number p2 process number p3 has already been arrived process number p4 P five and P six and P six, right? So between this zero to eight, these five processes has been arrived, right? So for that purpose, we have to write the burst time for these processes, as well as we have to write down the priority. Okay. So what is the priority of P two? The priority of P two is four. the priority of p3 is 4 the prior the priority of p5 p4 is 5 for p5 it is 2 and for p6 it is 6 these this is basically the priority okay which is written on the top of the ready queue okay then we have to write down the burst time of these number of processes okay so what is the burst time of p2 that is 2 then the burst time for p3 is 4 the burst time for process number p4 is 1 the burst time for process number p5 is 6 and the burst time for process number p6 is 5 okay now what we have to do we have to check like which process is having the highest priority right which process is having the highest priority out of these five okay like before going to process or execute one other process we have to check from these ready queue okay so as a like uh, in the question it is given that lower number is having the highest priority so who is having the lower number in the priority process number p5 okay so process number p5 would be selected and it would come in the running queue okay what is the burst time of process number p5 that is 6 so it would be 8 plus 6 that means 40 okay so that means it has been executed so process number p5 has been completely executed process number p1 has already been executed right 
now the turn is off like between 8 to 14 is there any new process who has been arrived yes process number p7 okay so we would write process number p7 in the ready queue what is the priority of it one what is the burst time of it that is one okay as we put straight now out of these processes we would check that is there any process like who is having the highest priority yes process number p7 okay process number p7 is having the highest priority that is one okay and what is the burst time of it that is one so 14 plus one it would be 15 so it has been executed completely now like is there any new process who is waiting no there is no new process who is waiting for their turn that means out of these processes we have to check the highest priority and out of that like we have to execute each and every process okay so like uh, out of uh, these four processes out of these four processes who is having the highest priority just check it four four five six who is having the highest priority these two processes p2 and p3 right but there is a conflict that is both are having the same priority okay so in case of that there is one rule that the fcfs would be applied means first come first serve would be applied right so who has came first process number p2 has came first so that is why p2 would be chooses and what is the burst time of it that is 2 so it would be 17 so it has been completely executed process number p2 okay now the turn is of p3 so 17 plus the burst time of p3 that is 4 it would be 21 right so p3 has been executed now only process number p4 and p6 is left right p4 and p6 is left so <coughs> like obviously p4 would be selected and what is the burst time of it that is 1 so it would be 22 okay it has been completely executed then only process number p6 is left so it would be selected and what is the burst time of it that is 5 so it would be 27 okay so this is the gantt chart for non preemptive priority scheduling algorithm okay so based on that what do you do you just calculate the completion time okay so the completion time would be uh, like for process number p1 it is 8 for process number p2 it is 17 for process number p3 it is 21 for process number p4 it is 22 for p5 it is 14 for process number p6 it is 27 process number p7 it is 15 so this is the completion time okay now we have to calculate the turnaround time okay so the turnaround time we are having one formula that is like turnaround time equals to the completion time minus arrival time okay completion time minus arrival time so like the turnaround time would be 8 minus 0 8 17 minus 1 it would be 16 then 21 minus 3 it would be 18 then 22 minus 4 it would be 18 then 14 minus 5 it would be 9 then 27 minus 6 it would be 21 15 minus 10 it would be 5 okay now we have to calculate the waiting time okay so for waiting time there is one formula that is Turnaround time minus burst time. Okay. Turnaround time minus burst time. So it would be 8 minus 8, 0. 16 minus 2, 14. 18 minus 4, 14. 18 minus 1, 17. 9 minus 6, 3. 21 minus 5, it would be 16. Then 5 minus 1, it would be 4. Okay. Now, you have to calculate the response time. So, for calculating the response time, there is one formula that is the CPU first arrival time, right? The CPU first allotment time to the process. So, for process number P1, the CPU has been firstly allocated at 0, okay? Minus the 
arrival time. So it would be 0 minus 0 means 0. Then the arrival, the first allotment time of P2, the CPU first allotment time of P2 is 15. 15 minus 1, it would be 14. Then for process number P3, the CPU has been firstly allocated as 17. Right? CPU has been firstly allocated as 17. So the CPU first allocation time minus the arrival time. So it would be 17 minus 3, 14. Then like for process number P4, we are having the first arrival time that is 21 minus 4, it would be 17. Then for process number P5, the first allotment time 8 minus the arrival time. That is for process number P5, we are just calculating. Yes. So, it would be 8 minus 5. It would be 3. Then, for process number P6, the first allotment time is 22. So, 22 minus 6. It would be 16. Then, the last one that is process number P7. So, the first allotment time is 14. So, 14 minus uh, like uh, 10. Okay. 14. Process number P7 has been firstly allocated at 14. 14 minus 10. It would be 4. Yes. Right. So in case of this algorithm or in case of this question or this numerical, the waiting time and the response time is similar. Okay. So hope you have understood like how to calculate the non-preemptive version of priority scheduling algorithm. Right. So uh, like what you do, you just try the other numericals as well like based on the tips i have told you right so till then thank you thank you so much